what is going on everybody? It's Nick or the Overrated Commentator. Today I'm coming at you guys with another commentary here on the Carnage channel. Today's gameplay is by Carnage Pure. This is a, I believe this is called a litter bug chem strike, which is where he picks up the person that he kills gun after every kill. So that's pretty sweet, you know, like you're kind of just abusing them. You're killing them and then taking their weapon, which is just a little bit like showing off. So I thought this was pretty awesome. Carnage Pure always has some amazing gameplays though, guys. He has some of the most unique gameplays and just all around fun to watch gameplays. And I just really, really enjoy all the stuff that he provides. His channel has, I believe, over 2,100 subscribers or so. So you guys should definitely try to get him to 3,000 and by the time Advanced Warfare comes out. He's definitely one of the most unique members and he's very, very good at what he does. I also love his commentaries over on his channel too, which is something that not every pub stomper can do. He has unique commentaries. He does some stories over there and he's very, very good at everything that he does. So he definitely deserves all the stuff that he gets and I hope you guys go over there and give him a look. Anyways, today what I'm going to talk about is kind of like a mega Call of Duty and if you would buy it. Now, I'm sure you guys mostly know any of you Halo fans out there know what they're, they're doing with the whole, like, tradition game or, like, the, the, the Master Chief collection where they're putting all the Halos together and it's going to be all on one disc in one game and it's going to be wicked sweet and everything? Would you guys do that or would you guys purchase it if it was a Call of Duty game? All of the Call of Duties are all on one game. Or you could split it up into two games, like all the Modern Warfare series is on one and all the Treyarch games on Treyarch, Treyarch, Treyarch. I forget how to say that. Why am I going blank? Anyways, um, if all the Treyarch games on another one, would you guys, either way, it'd be pretty awesome. Now, would you buy it, though, is the question. I think this would, like, break sales records for all of us longtime Call of Duty fans who know, like, World at War and COD 4 and even, like, Modern Warfare 2 and all those games were so amazing that we would do anything to go back and play those games in the prime of them again. Those were literally the most amazing days to be playing Call of Duty, World at War and... COD 4, and oh my gosh, I can just I can just imagine back to those days when tons of players were online, and you could have so much fun playing Call of Duty for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I think it'd be amazing if they brought those games back. Obviously, they could do a whole bunch of stuff, like, they could either split up the games inside of a game, or they could just do all one ranking system, all one random generated maps, and if you were to get, like, a map from World of War, say you got the map Castle, you could only use guns, or you could create a class, set up went to the World at War class setups. Now, you couldn't use every single gun for every single map, I don't believe. I mean, that'd be interesting. But say you got the map High Rise, only your MW2 classes would come up, but it would just be like constantly switching, which I think would be a really awesome idea. Now, I'm not sure if the Call of Duty developers would ever actually do that because they think it's a little bit too probably abstract of an idea, but I think us Call of Duty fans would think that's absolutely amazing. Now, I don't know if it'd be better to have constantly switching maps or if it would be better to have the games on separate separate game mode selection types, you know? And if it would be better to have two discs or just all of the Call of Duties ever on one disc. Can you imagine all of the Call of Duties on one disc? Even if it just went back to Call of Duty 4, you'd have COD 4, you'd have World of War, you'd have MW2, BO1, BO2... Ghosts, MW3, oh my gosh, can you imagine all of those guns and maps all combined into one game? I think that'd be like the complete revival of Call of Duty. Longtime Call of Duty fans who quit once Ghosts came out or quit once Black Ops came out, they'd be back, they'd be enjoying Call of Duty again. Everybody would come to play that game, and the people who were new to Call of Duty, if Ghost was your first game, you never got to experience the classics without all those crazy hackers who get to fly around the map in god mode and completely destroy you and then teabag your body and then shoot your body and then make fun of you and then send you voice messages saying you're a piece of crap. If you never got to experience the game in their primes without them hackers, then you would obviously want to play that more than ever because you never got to experience this game back when it was absolutely amazing. Now, I think it's an idea that Call of Duty should definitely look into. And I think if big YouTubers actually made videos about it, and supported the idea, I really think the Call of Duty developers would consider doing it. Now, I don't know if big YouTubers would ever make this, make a video about this and really encourage this, but I really would think it'd be awesome if they could and these Call of Duty developers can, could consider it. What do you guys think of the idea is basically all I want to know in the comments section. And I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed the idea of what I was talking about in this commentary. And go subscribe to Pure because he definitely deserves it. And if you guys have an extra second, come click on my channel. Help me get to that road to 25,000 subscribers. Guys, all the love you guys have been showing me means a lot. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.
backfires If your squad survives it, run coming back We do not advise it It's more abulous the way we Kim striking you You ain't got that